So earlier this year, I made a video talking about how much I really enjoyed the Nemo file manager. And Nemo is great. It's been my main file manager now for the, in that entire time. It's fast. It has a lot of features that I enjoy, especially dual pane mode, which I just can't seem to live without. And it's well designed and it's updated frequently and all this stuff. It's, it's a great little file manager. And I know what you're thinking. Matt, file managers don't really matter all that much. Just use one. How often do you visit a file manager? And that's true for most people. Most people probably don't give two craps about, you know, what file manager they use. They really just don't. And that's fine for most people. But for me, the file manager is one of the tools that I use most during the day. I have that thing open constantly on one of my workspaces. And I use it all the time, whether it's to drag files back and forth between Kidding Live or OBS or Audacity or to the browser or all over the place. And, you know, I use it just all the time. And it's one of the apps that I have open all the time. So you can tell that I'm probably a little particular when it comes to my file manager. And for the longest time, I've been using Nemo. And Nemo, is, like I said, is great. But there was a feature that I was missing. One of the things that I do in the file manager that is really, you know, kind of unique to the file manager, I don't I don't use tabs a lot in like the browser. Like I, I very rarely have more than seven or eight tabs open in a browser. I, like I, yesterday I watched an Epos Fox video, the one about Streamlabs, and he has like a hundred tabs open. It was blowing my mind. But I don't do that in the browser, but I do kind of do that in the file manager. When I have a file manager open, I have two panes, and then each pane has five or six or ten tabs open to different directories that I'm always going to back and forth. And I like that functionality, and Nemo does a good job of it. But the problem is, once you close Nemo and reopen it, it just opens up at a default location. It doesn't remember where you were. What I really wanted was to have a file manager that would remember position like when you close it and you reopened it it remember it would remember where you were when you closed it it's not a feature that is very prominent in file managers let me tell you i've been searching far and high for file managers that do this and there aren't that many dolphin does it but dolphin comes with half the kd plasma stack and it's not that great uh, because i really don't want to have to download all that stuff if i'm not going to use plasma you know as a desktop environment. Something called Index does it. It's based on Maui Kit, but it's very, very new. It doesn't have a ton of features in it. So you can't, I, I'm, I'll, I might try it again, but wait until it's been developed a little bit more. And something like uh, Double Commander seems to do it, but I didn't care for the Double Commander uh, UI at all. Like it has, it had your connected drives, your mounted drives at the top and on both sides of the on both panes and I couldn't you can't get rid of it so it was kind of a deal breaker for me the UI was just bad and the the settings app for double commander is just I mean I'm all for customization like I love customization give me all the settings like that's why I like KDE so much but the settings for double commander was just a total mess so the the, the bottom line is is I've been searching for a file manager that would allow me to do this and Nosy on my Discord server recommended an app called Crusader. Now, if you don't know what Crusader is, Crusader's actually the file manager that KDE used previously, as far as I know, or maybe an alternative file manager. I'm actually not sure, but I know it's developed by the KDE guys or someone who is associated with the KDE guys. As you can tell by the name, it's spelled K-R-U-S-A-D-E-R. So obviously it's meant to go with KDE Plasma, and it's similar to Dolphin in that it has a absolute crap ton of dependencies. Like, there's just a ton of them, and it doesn't even come with all of them pre-installed. If you want a whole bunch of features that should be kind of default, you actually have to install those separately, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But, out of the box, Crusader's actually kind of cool, despite the fact that it has a ton of dependencies, and it seems to have at least all the features that I'm looking for, except for one, and I'll talk about again that later. So first, let me just show you what my install of Crusader looks like. This is Crusader. Now, as you can tell, it's not the prettiest application out there, and a lot of times the superficial stuff matters to me a lot. Like, I want my applications to look good. 
But in the case of the file manager, I truly don't care. I do want it to be functional, have a ton of features that I care about. And in this case, Crusader seems to have quite a few of them that are really good. So for example, it has tabs. You can see down here along the bottom, I have a ton of tabs open. Like I know people think I'm crazy, but I really do have this many tabs open all the time. And this is usually a minimum. Usually I have about double this amount. It's absolutely insane. Like, like right now I'm editing, uh, or I just edited the three cast, which is my other podcast. So I have that open. I have the the folder open for the podcast that Tyler and I just recorded today. So, I mean, I have all this stuff open all the time. Like, I don't want those things to go away. I mean, I could just reopen them when I want to, but I like having them just open. It's kind of like a to-do list, so I, I remember that it's there. But the point is, it has tabs, and if I close this and then reopen it, as you can see, it remembered where I was. That is fantastic. It's like the number one feature that I would request out of any file manager. It's I think they should all have that. Because, I mean, you close your, your applications all the time, or you'd, you'd have a reboot or something like that, and you want to come back to this, and it'd be a pain in the ass to have to go through and reopen all these tabs one by one, which is what I had to do in Nemo. And so this is fantastic for me. So the tabs thing and the re resuming of the session is really good for me. Uh, it also has a ton of settings, just like you'd expect any KDE application to have. Uh, but it's not as much of a mess as something like Double Commander was. That it, this is just basically a KDE, you know, settings panel, and it has a ton of, you know, a ton of uh, settings and stuff that you can add. Now, when you first start up Crusader, you'll get a couple notifications saying here are some things that are enabled or disabled based on the things that you have installed. Uh, so, for example, out of the box, you can't manage bookmarks in this application, like at all. You have to have a separate application in order to do that. And it will tell you what applications you need to install in order to do these certain things. Now, that's a really weird way of doing things. I, I would prefer to just, just install the stuff that I need in order for it to be a functional file manager. That's what I would prefer. But I can understand. I mean, there'd be like even more dependencies pre-installed if they did that. So I can understand at least giving you the choice. So it's, that's kind of good. But some of the things, the bookmarks seems like you should have that functionality built in. But it's not, a, it's not a huge deal. I just downloaded the thing that I needed to, you know, install. Now, here's the thing. For the most part, I'm in love with this application. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. As, you know, like, I, I've been tinkering with it now for a whole day. And there's just a ton of stuff here that I haven't even got into yet that, I, that I'm that i going to over the next week or so. And I love the features that are important to me. Like, I, I really enjoy the resumable feature. I love the dual pane mode by default. I love the tabs. I figured out the bookmarking system so that I can get to the folders that I use most often. Uh, you know, I figured all that stuff out, and it works fine. The one feature, or excuse me, the two features that are missing that don't seem to be able to be enabled at all, like even with another dependency, are single click to open. So single click to open seems to be something that KDE removed from all their apps, and they put that in the KDE Plasma settings, so that if you want to actually use single click to open, you actually have to have Plasma installed, which is, it, it's... It seems a little user user hostile because I want to use some of these applications outside of Plasma, and now I can't change that, which is really disappointing. So, if if I if I show you here, selection mode, we see that double click selects is is an option here, but there's no alternative to that. There's no single click to select option, and that's really you know kind of disappointing. Like I said, you can't change it. It's just something you'd have to change in KDE settings, and I don't have KDE installed. So that's one feature. I'm so used to single click to install to to select or to open. I guess single click to open that you know I'm gonna miss it. But I think that I can go back to the old way of doing things and use double click. It's fine. Like I'll, I'll move past it. The other one is much more of a deal breaker for me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get past it or not. And that, and that is image previews. As far as I can tell, and from the searching that I've done, Crusader does not have image previews at all. Now, it has an option up here in the view menu called Show Previews. And you click on that, uh, and then you change like to a different tab. Sometimes this goes away. Sometimes it stays. 
and it doesn't really seem to matter whether it's on or off because there's no pre actual previews here. So if I go to my uh, a, a pictures folder, this has all pictures in it. This is just logos for things that I use for thumbnails. There doesn't seem to be a way to actually see what these things look like. If like, for example, if you were in Dolphin, I think you can go through and enable a pane for previews. Or in some file managers, you can hit spacebar and it will go through and bring up like a like a pop up of the, of the of the thing you hover over. Uh, there's no there's nothing like that here. There's no preview pane. There's no none of that stuff. You can't make you can make this stuff bigger, but it just I mean as you can tell, it just it just shows the icon. It, so it doesn't actually show the picture, which is like I said, I, it, it may very well be a deal breaker for me because believe it or not, I have no like eidetic memory i can't remember what like some of these things are well named like this here i know that's the discord logo but for example like uh if we go down here to the else i have a lot of linux logos but there's one logo that i prefer that i use for most of my stuff here it's it's like a, a, a very modern version of tux and the name of i named it very creatively linux and i actually have two versions of it linux and linux 2 the problem here is that I have a whole bunch of stuff named Linux. I also have several things named Tux. So uh, figuring out which which is which is kind of hard because I don't know the names for everything that I've you know saved over the years. Like I have probably a million photos and a million images saved on my computer, and like I said, I don't know all of them. And it gets it would, it gets even worse if I go here to the screenshot folder. I have these like these are by dates. Like seriously, how am I supposed to know? What these things are now, I could, I could, if I wanted to, go through each one of them and rename them to something descriptive, but that's just just sounds like a waste of time to me. So, the fact that this doesn't have image previews may be a a, a deal breaker for me. If I, if, I don't want it to be because I like this so much. I don't want it to go. I don't. I don't want to have to go away because there's no. The thing is here, folks is that this is my last option when it comes to these features. Like, if, if I can't get this to work, there doesn't seem to be another solution for me that does the things that I want to do, namely have really good tab support and also have the ability to remember the session. Uh, and that's really important to me. I really, really want that. Now, I could download Dolphin, but and I did down, actually did download Dolphin yesterday, uh, the problem is it doesn't play very well with a tiling window manager. This will, Crusader does a way better job of actually being uh, a good citizen in, in tiling window in, in DWM. In for for Dolphin, it just it was broken. Like like things weren't working properly. And also they've taken a lot of settings out of Dolphin and put them in the KD Plasma settings application. And I don't have Plasma installed, so that was a mess too. So. And this is more of a kind of a rambly video than I was originally planning on doing, but, and it, it's such a, it's such a nerdy topic. Like nobody, most people couldn't give a crap about their, their file manager. They just use whatever one comes with their desktop or distro. You know, if you use XFC, you use Thunar. If you use um, Mate, you use Kaja. I think if you use Cinnamon, you use Nemo. I might have those switch around. I don't. I don't remember. If you use GNOME, you use Nautilus. You probably don't even know it's called Nautilus because they just call it files. You know. So most people are like that. For me, it is important because I, I, desire these features. Like I could get by without them. Like I could, but I don't want to. I don't want to have to. Uh, in a ideal world, I would have a terminal-based file manager that I could drag and drop from easily, even though it probably wouldn't have the same functionality that I prefer in a GUI, so it would be harder to have. Like uh, Ranger has tabs, but as far as I know, it doesn't have a dual pane mode. Something like Mind Midnight Commander is... I don't know if it has tabs, but it has a, a dual pane mode. Something like uh, ViFM has dual pane mode, but I'm not sure if it has tabs. So finding the perfect one in the terminal would be hard for me too. Plus, I use drag and drop a lot. And somebody's going to point out, well, why don't you use Dragon? Dragon is broken for me. I don't know why it doesn't work for me. I have it installed for Ranger. It just doesn't work. It just flashes the screen. I'm assuming that I'm missing a dependency somewhere. But the instructions for Dragon are like, here, copy this code, make it, and install. That's the the entire amount of documentation that Dragon seems to have, unless I'm missing something, which is, I mean, always possible. So anyways, 
Uh, that is it for this video. If you uh, have a suggestion for me in terms of getting either Crusader to work better in terms of image previews, maybe you know a way to get image previews in Crusader. I would love that. I would give you a heart for that. I mean, I give I give those hearts out, you know, pretty liberally anyways, but I'd be really, really appreciative if somebody knows how to get image previews working in Crusader. Uh, or if you have other options for file managers that have the things that I'm looking for. I'm looking for uh, good tab support. I'm looking for resume functionality where they'll resume, they'll remember what uh, session I was in beforehand. And I'm looking for obviously image previews and stuff like that. And stability. Like it has to, like there was, um, I, I, it was something like double commander, but I don't remember what it was. So it was something that I was trying out before when I was looking for dual pane file managers. And maybe it was called, it has, maybe it had the word space in it. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. But, th that had all the features that I wanted, but it crashed and it was abandoned. So I prefer something that's being actively developed. So in case something does go wrong, you can at least have a hope that it might get fixed. Uh, so if you have any of those things, leave those in the comments section below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is fun too. Patrick, Elf, Primus, Marcus, Maglin, Jackson, Nick, Tool, Steve, A, Sid, A, Mitchell, Art Center, Amateus, Merrick, Camp, Joshua Lee, J-Dog, and the BSDs Rock. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.